Hello and welcome to the John Phipps Legacy website. Please watch this short help video to help you understand the features of the site and to register. To register on the main page, press the login or register button. On the second page, press the register button. On the third page, please say what you are. You say alumni or boy girl. Please fill in basic details. Please put a real email address so that we can send you your, your password if you have forgotten it. We won't send you any additional information or promotional material. Password and confirm, and the year you started at the school. More important, the year you finished. The year that you would have graduated if you went to the end of the school. The year that you were probably 13. The class of your peers' final year. That's this value here. You say 1935. And then press sign me up. The green button. Now you can see that you are a member of the site. Please fill in any other people that you can remember that left in the same year. So, first name, last name, and press add to 1935. Confirm. So please help us in that way to build up a year roll call because we're trying to build up as much of a year roll call going back as we can. To upload a profile picture, and please do upload a profile picture, press upload profile picture, choose file, and create. That is now being processed. To browse photos, you can go back to John Phipps there, and from the main John Phipps page, go to the timeline, which is the second tab. Here, John, John's many photographs that he bequeathed have been arranged in alphabetical order, but sorry, in chronological order, on the timeline. There's some guesswork in that, but they are broadly speaking chronological. When you want to see a photo set, press More, and then Find Out More, and that takes you to the photo set. To use the gallery to view the photographs, click on the outside black portion of the gallery to bring up the left and right arrows, and you can browse the photos left or right. To see them full screen, press a thumbnail, again left and right chevrons or left and right arrows let you view the, view the photo set. To leave a comment, there is one comment here already, uh, enter the comments field And press the quill to the left of the comment field. And William Chaucer wonders what is the car. So you can take part in discussions on the photographs by leaving comments. To see the photographs in high definition, press the HD button. Or you can just put HD here at the end of the URL bar and press go or return and that will load the photographs in the highest definition that we have. As you can see, because of the extra quality, they take longer to load. That is why generally 
the photographs that you're brought to in the first set are lower definition. But these are now high definition, so you should get some extra benefit from viewing them like that. To tag a photo, which means to identify an individual in a photograph, let's say that's William Shakespeare, we can click on him, and then type in the search box, and the list will be brought up, we can see the person we want there, press save, and William Shakespeare appears here, I'm sorry the uh, tags as they appear here are inaccurate, but uh, I've retained the tagging um, so that we can build up lists of people in the photographs. To remove the tag, press here. To edit your own profile, there's an edit profile button here. Simp uh, link here, simply click on that and you can go and edit details for Mr Chaucer. Uh, when you're finished, press done. Um, if you change any of these details, um, which is unlikely, but if you do, press save changes to your details here, this button, before you press done. Here you can also add other classmates as you remember them, in, or see them in photographs and remember them. Uh, by first name, last name, add to 1935. If you see somebody in a different year um, and you would like to tag them, you can add them here as well and then you can use this uh, year drop-down to specify what was their final year. And when you are done, press done. To visit, uh, to contact somebody else that you can see is leaving comments, uh, for example, Mr. Greg Dealey, I can see here, who has left a comment. Press the link by their photograph, and you can go here, and as it says, this is the profile page for Greg Dealey, and you can contact them on that email address. So the email addresses are visible just for the purpose of contact between former pupils. There are some other features to the site. Um, on the timeline page, we have the option to upload photos. If you want to create your own photo set, which appears on the timeline, press Upload Photos. Here you are asked to log in again. Create photo set. Name the photo set. Specify where on the timeline you would like that to appear using the date or just put in this format so we can just change the 15th to 75 uh, to 75 and that will appear 15th of December 1975 and give a photo set name as well and then um, Press create. Then you can add the photographs, press upload photographs. That brings up a screen whereby you can upload photographs. Let's find a photograph here.
purposes of this demonstration, uh, we can just reuse the William Choice of Profile picture, and you can just drag and drop that, drop that there, drag and drop if you have uh, a modern browser, or you can use um, add files to browse to your directory or file or photograph. Uh, when you have the photo or photos, you can upload up to 10 photographs, press start, and that will upload it, and now you're ready to publish. So if I press publish, then the photo set pilgrimage uh, would appear on the timeline on the 15th of December, 75. There is a, a lag before it appears on the timeline, it won't be instant. It should be a couple of hours because it has to go through a Google RSS feed. It's not instant, but it will appear on the timeline. So if you want to upload photos from the 70s or the 80s or the 90s, that's fine. You can do it here or um, from today, uh, this day and age. That's all fine. And press publish to, to upload them. I won't press publish for obvious reasons. So to view tributes, go to the tribute section and we have some interviews with uh, former teachers. Uh, Trixie Leach or Mrs. Leach as we knew her from the 70s, Richard Wilby from the 70s and 80s, Edward Doricott who succeeded Richard Wilby think um, in the late 80s and there's one poem there as well written by an ex-pupil about John written at the time of his passing which is uh, an illustrated poem and there's some more tributes here from the funeral and if you want to leave a comment on the site just put the comment here Mr. Chaucer thinks it's a very worthy site. Just press the um, press the quill here. Oops. Press the quill to leave the comment. And finally, and not least, John uh, to view writings. John um, spent an extensive amount of time in his retirement writing. Go to the writings tab. And here you can see the chapters of his published selected memoirs, which are available in hardback, which were published by the John Phipps Legacy team, uh, are available to browse online here. Each of these images is a link uh, to a PDF, which is one chapter in the memoirs. And that's all. I hope you enjoy the site. Thank you.